Today we're going to look at sleeping to pause a, a script for a certain amount of time using the time module. This is also the first tutorial I'm showing you in the basic Python tutorials I'm doing on importing a module. Let's start off just by going into the Python environment. And the way you import a module is you type in import and the name of the module. In this case, time. Ta-da, it's imported. Basically what these are are Python scripts that are already written out for you that you can utilize. So instead of writing every little bit, in this case of time functions out, someone's already done that for you, you import it and then you just call it in your script. And in this case, we're gonna use the sleep. So we're gonna do time, cause it's from the time uh, module. And we're gonna use the sleep command from the time module. And then in parentheses, how long we want it to sleep for, I'll say five here. I'll hit enter and you'll see the thing pauses, your script pauses for five seconds. After five seconds, boom, we continue. We can also do one second. So this is very useful uh, if you want to wait a certain amount of time before something happens. So I'm gonna get out of the environment here. I'm going to uh, go into a script. I'm going to call this one mysleep.py. Once again, always start off by telling the computer what environment you're working in, in this case, Python. Then we'll import time. And we are now going to, let's do something similar to what we did in the last tutorial. X equals zero. And then we'll say while X is less than or equal to, we'll say 10 in this case colon to start the loop and then remember to indent it's very python is very particular about indenting you want to make it make sure that you have a clean script but it could be a headache if you forget that uh, and we're going to say print x then we'll say x equals x plus one so x every loop continues to grow by one and then we were we're going to time dot well Let's stop our code there and see what we get. Save exit and then change it to make it executable. My sleep.py, oops, dot py, dot slash to run it. My, you can see I name a lot of things the same. There we go. So you see it goes straight through real quick. You can't even see it typing out zero through 10 here. So let's go back into our code here and add our sleep command. We're going to do time dot sleep and we'll just sleep for one second. We'll run the code again. The time you can see every second it adds one and prints it on the screen until it gets to, well, until it gets to 11, but it's going to print out till 10. Okay. Uh, you can also do this, we'll say I, delete the one, we'll say dot two. Oops, save it, run it, and you can see that the sleep command takes variable, or variables, decimals, so instead of waiting a full second, it waited just under a quarter of a second, so it's counting a little bit faster, but it's fast, it's slower than just boom, out on the screen there. So that's how you import modules, and that is how you use the sleep function from the time module. Uh, hope you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this one.